that it's fun talking about the storm's name, Elsa, like the Disney princess. But how do storms get their names? Meteorologist Grant Gilmore takes a deeper dive. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says tropical storms and hurricanes were tracked by number and year until the 1950s. But the experts decided short, easily remembered names would be better for communication, especially if several storms were being tracked at once. At first, it was just female names. But by 1979, male and female names were used for storms in the Atlantic Basin. NOAA's National Hurricane Center does not decide the names. That's the responsibility of the World Meteorological Organization. So there's six lists with 21 names each, one for every letter except Q, U, X, Y, and Z. The lists are used on a six-year rotation, and it only changes if a storm is so deadly or costly that the name is retired, and using it again just would not be appropriate. And don't forget, hurricane season lasts through the end of November. So this is a good time to download our free 10 Tampa Bay app. We will send you alerts whenever we are tracking a storm.